Greetings everybody, this is Elias Planakos from Wireless Insider and today I have with me the incredible HTC Amaze 4G model X715M available here in Canada from TELUS Mobility and in the United States from T-Mobile. We're going to go over through with you the hardware, software, a browser test, uh, as well as a media test, go outside in the sun and see how it performs in direct sunlight, and in the end, a list of the small things you may or may not have known about this device that may make or break your decision to go out and buy one. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get started. So the box comes with a picture of the phone on the front, a bunch of specifications on the side and serial number information on the back. It uh, opens from the bottom, so let's slide this out of here, bam, and we're greeted right away with the HTC Amaze 4G model X715M. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Okay, <laughs> let's put that to the side, get this insert out of here. Uh, greeted with some manuals, different versions, French here in Canada, whatever, in English. Uh, we have, let's see, a uh, home brick charger, all right, data cable that plugs into the charger as well, or your computer, battery, and stereo headphones, but not any normal stereo headphones. No, sir, this comes with multimedia controls. Oh, yeah, so you got to pause, play, voice activation, answer call, end call, rewind, and fast forward, your music, and all that stuff straight from the headset. Very nice freebie. <laughs> and the battery it comes with is a nice chunky 1730 milliamp hour battery. It's a good powerhouse for a good power of a phone. Let's get this on the side and let's take a good look at this phone for now. In the front, we're greeted with a 4.3 inch QHD display. Um, right away, you can tell it does lift up from the phone a bit. So if I tilt to the side here, you see this black section right here? That is the LCD. Uh, what you also notice is the charger port. Although it does look a little strange, that's because it wants to support HDMI out. That is indeed a micro USB charger port. So yeah, micro USB chargers will work and an HDMI out cable will work with it as well. Uh, let's take a look at the other side here. We have our volume rockers, all right, for volume down and volume up. Uh, quick access to the camcorder function of the phone. Quick access to the camera function of the phone. <laughs> so you can tell this is right away meant for those uh, uh, photo enthusiasts and all that, especially myself. I love that feature. Uh, power button on the top, 3.5 millimeter for headphone jack. The back, we have our wonderful 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash and all these little pinholes you see there are for uh, microphones. So you do have a microphone for the camcorder and all that. A speaker for speakerphone and music is over here. And you have your main microphone there for conversations. So as is the tradition with all or typically most HTC handsets, the entire phone feels extremely solid. And this is without a battery and yet <laughs> there's a even without a battery, it's very solid rubber over here, stainless steel or I'm sorry, aluminum on the sides, the entire trim. This really feels like an excellent handset. I can't wait to get to it. It opens up from the bottom here, so let's do that quick. And in the front, I uh, mentioned a two megapixel camera here for front facing conversations or pictures. You do have a status LED indicator and a proximity sensor, and your capacitive touch buttons for home menu, back and search. Uh, taking a look here, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, uh, near field communication, antenna array, all that funky jazz. Yeah, this looks really cool already. <laughs> we have access to our micro SD memory card, SIM card slot, and the battery. So let's pop this guy in here. Yeah, and as is with all my phones, I'm going to time it, see how quickly it turns on. Should be a screamer, and uh, I think it would be suitable that I use this competition, the Galaxy S2X, or Skyrocket in the US, uh, just so I can test to see how quickly it does take to turn on. So let me just go ahead and access that timer function. And power button up here, three, two, one. Did I do it? No, I did not. Let's try again. Three, two, one. All right. So basically, like I said before, 4.3 inch QHD display, resolution of 540, uh, sorry, 540 pixels by 960 pixels. It is a very nice display. I've had the liberty of having this uh, phone to use for a few days and it's a very impressive already. I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, it does have a 16 gigabytes of internal memory, uh, eight megapixel camera capable of shooting up to 1080p video, uh, Sense UI version, uh, 3.0, it's just packed to the brim. <laughs> Coincidentally, both these phones you see here, Galaxy S2X and the uh, HTC Amaze 4G have very similar specs. In fact, the processors are the same. Uh, in this case, dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor with one gigabytes of RAM. So it's getting there. Felt it vibrate, some good vibrations. Okay, and stop, let's take a look. Great, no lag, let's Ooh, I have a little notification, whatever. So we've got 48 seconds here on startup from a cold boot. Very nice. Let's put this guy to the side for now. 48 seconds. And 
pretty much all started up. Uh, since I have been using this phone, this is a, well, a live wallpaper I did got, get off the internet, so let's change this to something that the phone comes with. Uh, wallpapers, live, and it comes with yeah, HTC Sense, why not? All right, let's apply. So real quick, let's go through the software, just something different. Um, you'll find a lot of similarities to HTC Sense version 2.1, but uh, real quick, we'll go through this, uh, specifically the carousel effect, which gives this one a very nice 3D-esque look. So if we unlock it, go like this, it'll spin around in a very nice fashion. And if you do flick it a little hard, see if I can do it, yep, it'll go back and keep doing that cool stuff. So. Alrighty, uh, as you saw, I just click and held down here to access the personalization menu. You can access it from pressing this button as well. You can change everything from the scene, which is the mode or the theme your phone is on for audio, uh, the skin, how it looks, wallpapers, lock screen, which is this guy over here. In this case, I've customized it so I can uh, maybe put messages and I can access them right away. Pretty cool function. Let's try something else. Let's go to lock unlock. Let's go to phone. Yeah. Very cool. So uh, let's go through here. Uh, you have multiple home screens. They can all be customized in the traditional fashion by pinching the zoom on the home screen and you can move them around. Uh, a total of, what do we have? Two, four, six, seven home screens. And you can have widgets, of course, access to different items, music agenda. Let's see if it kept my agenda there now. Yes, it did. And uh, basically if you wanna access your full calendar, just click on the widget and it will open up in the month view. In any case, there it is. Uh, as is with most HTC Sense UI device or software on an Android platform, um, it has a lot of white. So when you're making phone calls, it's white. If you're going into your calendar, as you noticed before, it does have a lot of white. So it may blind you at nighttime, especially with display this bright. Um, keep in mind, this is only at half brightness right now. So <laughs> I want to show you something cool. Let's go up to the maximum, and this will completely make your day yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> and uh, on that note, the viewing angles on this is just absolutely incredible. Uh, on any angle, it seems like the display is popping at you. It's very nice, especially when doing slow transition effects. You'll notice, you see the calendar pops up from its placeholder. If we go to something like settings or let's go calendar, you'll notice the arrows are separate from the background to give a 3D kind of effect. Same with the photo or uh, music album there. So very nice there. Let's go through the menu real quick. This is running Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread. Nice fresh update, very quick. Let's see if we can make this guy go slow. Let's lag him up. Nope, no delay. Let's see how quickly we can do it through a carousel unlock. No, no problems. No stuttering, nothing like that. Remains unlocked. So there you have it, just like you'd expect with a processor and RAM, <laughs> a very powerful device. It's not slow at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at web browsing, bam. We'll go to uh, engadget.com, while not, and uh, it is on Wi-Fi, so let's keep that in mind. Sure, share my location. And the keyboard, very nice, very large, uh, much easier to use than, for example, the device like the My Touch 4G or any other device with a 3.8 uh, display, considering it's a 4.3 inch display, it makes things a lot easier. And it does have its rendition or version of swipe, so we can't really call it swipe, but it sends its own you know, typing system, so we can go to like this, you know, whatever, and it'll type in what you want. So let's just go to ngadget.com. Let's keep this, let me zoom in just a bit so you can see this better. All right. So, okay, dokie, this is a mobile version. Of course, it's very fast. Uh, pinch to zoom is very solid. This display feels like it, the glass is much thicker than it really is. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe that's why it's protruding so much from the actual device. But um, it's very nice. A pure pleasure to use this as a browser. Let's go to desktop. Loading. Okay, while well, it's still loading, let's see. Pinch to zoom and how that works. A little bit of a delay. Okay, there we go. Very close. Let's get out of here. It's still loading. Uh, oh, and it's done. So let's get out of here. It was downloading flash content, so that would explain a little delay there. So let's go all the way here. Very quick to scroll already. Let's find something with text and all that. Renders very quickly. Let's find out picture and the borderline. Very clear text, as you can see. 
Um, I have, it's easy to say this is one of the best uh, displays I've ever seen. Uh, despite the fact that online it's mentioned as a super LCD, it is not. This is a QHD display. Now you're all eager, I know you want to take a look at the camera, so we're going to do that right now. <laughs> a very nice camera on top of it. And not just because it's 8 megapixels. One feature they did incorporate into this phone is if it is locked, you can hold down the camera button and it'll automatically launch it. How you like that? So let's take a look at uh, uh, the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy S2X. Let's take a picture. Uh, keep in mind it does have touch to focus, which is pretty much traditional on high-end devices these days. Let's take a picture. Very nice, and bye-bye. Get down there. You can tap it here, and you can access your pictures. Before I do, I want to show you some cool effects, as it is with HTC. You have no effect, uh, HDR, which turns off the flash, burst mode, distortion, nah, 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 nah. but more importantly, the panorama. Uh, that allows you to basically balance this little line here and you can take it three separate shots and it'll stitch it all together give you a better idea how that looks i believe i did take a picture uh well you know what on this note let's just go to the gallery bam let's go here yep there's the gallery put this guy down Not too bad. No fancy schmancy transition effect and rotating, which is okay. It just speeds things up a bit. Alrighty. Uh, let's zoom in a bit more here. Okay. All photos. Now, these have all been pre cached which means they've been uh, put into the cache so you can see. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, so the thumbnails are loaded right away. Uh, I did take a picture here somewhere. What is this? Uh, that's, uh, that's my car uh, in HDR. There's the panorama function. Okay. So you can see what it did um, from left to right. It did stitch them together. Let's open that up and yeah, pretty much 180 degree view of the front of my driveway, which is nice. So there you have it. Very cool. Uh, very smooth effect. You know, no matter what you're doing and whenever you get to something, it zooms in and let's see how much we can zoom in here. Very clear, very crisp, very awesome. Great. Let's get out of here. One very nice feature here is if you press play, playing a song, I just muted it so I don't get sued. <laughs> if you do lock the device and you unlock it, it shows you the music you're playing. As long as it's a very cute effect that if you try doing something, it says, nope, you can't do that. You can flip this thing around. And if you tap it, it shakes its head, no, no, you have to unlock and then you can get there. But again, it's very nice to have uh, control of your music from the lock screen. All right, now let's take a look at YouTube just to do a quick, uh, a check on the video quality and all that. Now, I always use the 300 trailer in my videos, which is all right, I suppose. However, um, the one issue with that is it's not a very loud video. So uh, for the sake of consistency, I'm going to go ahead and use it again. Let's go ahead and type 300. All right. Standard 720p and 1080p videos work on uh, the HTC Amaze 4G on board or on YouTube, but this will be a quick check to show you how it looks in the the uh, YouTube application. Let's put the audio all the way up now. Let's go somewhere loud. Not bad. And because it is not a very loud video, you won't hear the audio, but rest assured, if you do have a video or a music file that uh, has loud volume or standard volume, it is pretty clear on this bad boy, as it should be. My experience as well with the headphone jack is very nice. You do have equalizer settings in the music uh, player, so that'll make you take full advantage of those wonderful uh, headsets that the uh, phone comes with. But very quick, you know, even while it's playing, pause, let's work this guy. Very nice. Alrighty, so after taking a look over there, very smooth, it's loading, okay. So let's go outside and I wanna show you how this phone looks in sunlight. Alrighty, and here's our sunlight test for the HTC Amaze 4G. Uh, let's lock it again, right? Device is locked. As usual, I can't see if you, can, if you guys can see it, but I know I can, alrighty. Carousel played, alright, let's go to home screen to screen here. Okay, let's go to uh, all applications. There it is. Not too shabby. I can see everything nice and clear. Yeah, even there I can see the icons. It's like the sun's amplifying the icons. <laughs> we get back here and you know what? This was at 50% brightness. Let's put it up to 100%. All right, let's get that back in the sun. There it is. Let's try going back here. Carousel effect, go home. And back to applications. Yep, I can see everything absolutely clearly. This is incredible. <laughs> it beats the pants off my previous phones I've tested out here in the sun. Awesome. All right, let's go back inside.
All right, and we're back inside. And as you notice with the sunlight test, this phone performs extremely well in direct sunlight at 50% and even 100% brightness. And I can easily say this is one of the best displays I've seen in many phones that I've either sold or dealt with or even reviewed online. Um, right up there with the iPhone 4 or 4S. The viewing angles are great in sunlight or without. Uh, even at maximum brightness, it just really pops. The colors are incredible. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and move on to the small things, the things you may or may not have known about, small things that may make or break your decision to consider this phone for purchase. Well, the first thing I notice is the carousel effect. You know when you unlock the phone, there we have it. It does this cool effect, which is nice. Um, I sometimes find myself triggering it by accident. You see I'm swiping the full screen, but sometimes without me even knowing, let me try to replicate this here. <laughs> you get to see a nice sunlight effect. That's the application built into the phone. Uh, sometimes I do trigger the carousel without knowing, and that does slow things down, especially because if you're already at the home screen and you do the carousel effect, let's see if I can do it. There we go, let's see. Now, it would be nice to have an option to disable that, although it looks very cool, you know, something to keep in mind. Sometimes uh, until you get used to the phone, you may accidentally trigger the little 3D effect it has. Another small thing that I really appreciated was the fact that music would show on the lock screen. So if you're playing a song and you lock your phone, without you having to enter your password, you'll have control over your music right there and right away. Uh, now, one thing I also noticed is the user interface does use a lot of memory. Now, let's go ahead and kill all. Even with everything killed, it is using, let's refresh, yeah, about 50%, sometimes 60% resources. Don't let this fool you. Even with all these applications running and a lot of tasks running in the background, video, uh, the marketplace, email, and all this, that it has not slowed down on me once. So. I guess more or less this is there because of the nice 3D effects and everything else running on the phone, but because of the memory and because of the processing power, this is nothing compared to uh, some other devices. So ignore this, that's fine. Don't let it scare you. Even those using resources, it's working very, very well. Interesting thing about the carousel effect, it does not interfere with your operation. So don't let it think that it's going to spin around in circles and then it'll delay you from where you want to go. If you do this, and while it's spinning, access a menu, you can still do so. So let's do that again. See, even while it's, uh, one more time, even while it's loading and spinning, you can still access where you're going. It works with you, which is nice, so you don't have to wait for the animation to finish in order for you to get where you want to go. See, I'm already getting into the menu. Very nice. And last but not least, the capacitive touch buttons typically only light up when it's very dark environment. So even if I turn off all my lights here and I cover this up like this, it wouldn't be enough to trigger these little buttons. So, you know, first few days get used to where they are, but after that in uh, very poor light or dark conditions, it will activate the buttons. So no worries there. However, overall, HTC Amaze 4G model X715M is absolutely an incredible phone. Very, very fast. Video, audio, pictures, web browsing, flash content, applications, gaming, everything. Just absolutely phenomenal. There are some small things that can be changed. Some things you can maybe do with a case just because, you know, again, the display is very close to the corners and the buttons are at the bottom. They're touch sensitive. So you want to make sure you have something that not only protect this phone, but also separate your hand from those functions and uh, just raise it up a bit for the speaker to uh, have some audio in the end. This pretty much wraps up this review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And as usual, please like and subscribe if you like what you saw here today. Until next time, this is Elias Planakis from Wireless Insider, and take care.